Uh, all right, the sit down. Oh, so many gosh. people have been waiting for Olivia Jade, the daughter of now in prison actress Lori Laughlin, husband Massimo Giulini. All major networks have been chomping at the bit to ask her about, you know, the whole college admission scandal. Olivia did not go with Gail King or Savannah Guthrie or even Oprah to share her story. Rather, she chose the Pinkett Smith family for one of these red table talks. What's more surprising is not everybody at the table wanted her there. This is, you know, is a multi-generational series of hosts. And while the peer, woman about her age, Willow, stays quiet, Jada's mom, Adrian Banfield Norris, was not happy to welcome this particular guest. A lot of people are going to have a lot of opinions about her story. She called and wanted to come to our table, um, and we all had very different feelings about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I fought it to, to the nail. I just found it really ironic that um, she chose three black women mm -hmm. to reach out to for her redemption story. I feel like here we are, a white woman coming to black women for support when we don't get the same from them. It's just, it's, it's bothersome to me on so many levels. Her being here is the epitome of white privilege to me. I understand where you're coming from, but let me just be clear. I never want to be the thing that was done to me by white women. I never want to be that. Okay. All right, uh, Grandma's still not happy. Now, Olivia Jade herself joins the table. Here we go. So what happened was wrong, and right. I think every single person in my family can be like, that was messed up, that was a big mistake. But I think what's so important to me is like to learn from the mistake, right. not to now be shamed and punished and never given a second chance. Because right. I'm 21, I feel yeah. like I deserve a second chance to redeem myself, to show I've grown. Can right. you talk to them while they're in prison? I actually haven't spoken to either of them. They're, there's a quarantine phase just because of COVID, so I think that is the reason, but I'm not too sh I just haven't heard anything, so I'm just waiting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Olivia Jade also admits she didn't realize what the big deal was when the story first broke. This is arguably the most chilling part where she acknowledges the bubble she herself grew up in. I remember thinking, which my thoughts are completely different now, right. but I remember thinking... How are people mad about this? Like, right. I know that sounds so silly, but in the in the bubble that I grew up in, I didn't know so much outside of it. And a lot of kids in that bubble, their parents were donating to schools and yes. doing stuff that advantage, mm -hmm. there were so many advantages. It's not fair and it's not right, but it was happening. Right. And so when this first came out, I was like, I don't really understand what's wrong with this. Like, mm. I'm not, I'm not under, and that was this was a, Because what was going on looked like to you that it was just, this is what happens. Like, this everybody is, this does normal. this. Everybody this is normal. normal. But right. I didn't realize at the time that's privilege. Right. I didn't, I didn't put those two together. I was like. Really? Okay. Entire conversation, which may well inspire other conversations, is now on Facebook Watch.